Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Vanessa and I sell on Poshmark and eBay and I'm trying something new. So I read something recently that said if you are not afraid, you are not growing or you cannot grow. So here I am doing something that I have been thinking about for a while and I just haven't done because I've been afraid. So here I am. I'm going to do a YouTube haul video. Um, these are things that I got yesterday at the Goodwill outlet, also known as the bins. Um, I paid 89 cents a pound for all of these pieces of clothes. Um, shoes and accessories are a little bit different, but let's get into it. This is a Nike dry, dry fit, um, just stretch long sleeve tie dye. I actually think this was one of the very first things I ever sold on Poshmark. So there's that. Um, this isn't a super great brand. This is just Old Navy, but it's a double XL. It's got this cute um, tie at the waist, which is super popular right now. So pick that up. Like having larger sizes. Um, I love this brand. It's Project Social Tea. And it sold at Urban Outfitters, and a lot of times they just have cute graphics. This is a little um, cold shoulder top. Just cute, basic. I ran into a pile of Madewell. This is one of the things that I got. Um, it's just one of their basic tanks. I think I got three of these in different colors. I'm probably not going to show you everything today because um, half of it's being washed. I do wash most of my stuff when I get it from the bins. Um, anyways, Madewell Tank. I was pretty excited to find this. This brand is Massimo Duty. Um, it's made in Italy and it's a real lightweight um, wrap top. So I can't show it very well. But anyways, it ties around your waist, a little wrap top, um, cute little floral. So I didn't look up comps for this. Um, obviously it's out of season, but Sometimes you just get what you can while you're at the bins. Um, Eileen Fisher, little Dolman, boxy uh, shirt. I think this is probably an older piece, but um, it's a nice condition, linen. So these next, this next thing I'm gonna show you, I wouldn't have known had I not um, watched a YouTube, another reseller. Um, I think it was Nicole State who mentioned this brand the other day and I looked up comps and they're really good. So I would say I'll probably get like 40 to $50 from this top. Um, the brand is URU. It is a silk blouse. It's kind of got an asymmetrical um, button. Uh, it's got this like really nice texture to it. It looks like a kind of floral pattern. Um, I'm gonna use keywords lag and look. You know, it's really like oversized. And, cause I don't think it says a size. Let's see. It doesn't really say a size. Um, anyways, so I found this and I was pretty excited and I had just seen Nicole talking about that. Um, so I picked that up. So I also lucked out and I found like a big patch of anthropology tops and sweaters. Um, I tried to grab as much as I can. I'm wondering if they were all from the same person. Anyways, I got this top, which I love. Look at this detail. It's like neon orange. It's got sequins and pom-poms, lace. Um, the brand is Vanessa Virginia, which is an anthropology tag. So super excited about this. It's going to be hard for me to not keep a lot of these things. You'll see. Um, this is just H&M, right? H&M, but it's new with tags. So it's just a light pink little tank. Um, I actually found a lot of stuff that had the black tags. So here at our Goodwills, they, um, the black tags are from Fashion Focus. And um, so there was a bunch of stuff in the bins that had the black tags still attached to them. Um, this is one of them. This is Seven for All Mankind, which, you know, is more famous for their jeans. But this is a really nice top, ribbed. Um, so I picked that guy up. 
Let's see, what else? This is Banana Republic. Um, the size and uh, fabric content tag are cut out, but I'll see if I can find it on their website. It feels like a linen, maybe silk blend. Not really the season, but it's a nice piece, so I picked it up. Um, in that same pile, this is an anthropology top. This is, um, let's see, moth. I love their sweaters. They make really nice sweaters. Um, so moth, it's a little like sweater tank. It's got the adjustable um, straps. Super cute. That would be a great piece for layering. Um, this isn't a brand that I typically pick up, but I really like this print and I thought, you know, it's kind of got boho vibes. Um, it's Angie and it's a little dress. It does have pockets, so I mean, you can't go wrong there, right? And it's got the ruching in the back um, and it's a size extra large. I found that their things run really small, um, but super cute little dress. This is another anthropology piece. This is an older one, but this is Odile. Odile, not exactly sure how you say it. And again, it's 100% silk. Um, so it's like a little wrap top. I've got my straps all um, tied up, but you get the idea. Silk, wrap top, anthropology. And again, this is anthropology. Um, anthropology can be confusing because they have so many different tags. This is uh, Edme and Essel. S I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, anyways, there's the tag. How cute is this? It's got these cute little like ruffle details. Love this, wish it was my size, but it's not so it must be sold. Um, these are all gonna fall. Let's see, Banana Republic. I've got sequined shoulders, just a super cute sweater, good condition. There it is. Um, this was a brand to look for. I had never heard of it. I did look up comps and they range from like 40 to $50. So this is a Nev, or I think that's how you say it, sweater. And it's like a ski sweater, right? So it's got a zip up. It's got a button closure down here on the bottom. It is missing one of the buttons, um, but they're pretty generic, so they could be replaced. I don't know if I'll do that or I'll just say. Um, I was hoping to find an extra one inside since it's kind of a nice sweater, but I didn't. Anyways, this is a wool sweater. Um, super cute. I didn't see any flaws, so I picked that up. Um, I do have some kids clothes I'm gonna share. I don't always pick up kids clothes, but there are some brands that I do like, and I tend to um, just find a bunch of one size and lot it together, <clears throat> usually based on the season. Um, these are Crew Cuts, which is J. Crew's kids brand. Um, cute little green shorts, pick those up. Um, I love this brand and it sells really well for me. It's got a little tag down here. It's called Narchi. Um, anyways, it does, it does pretty good. And, um, these are just pants like ruched all the way down. Um, hello. I want these in my size. Those are cute little corduroy pants. Um, this is a Hannah Anderson dress, little tunic top. I almost always pick this up if it's in good condition. And again, I just try and lot it up and um, sell it like that. Again, this is Hannah Anderson, but this is their like peanuts um, collaboration. And it's got little um, Lucy down there. And it's kind of a, what do you call that? It's like velvety, right? I don't know. Anyways, cute. Uh, Baby Gap. These are green velvet pants with this embroidered um, stitching. Super cute. I would wear these if they were my size. And right, I'm gonna see if I can finish this video before the kids get home and I'm interrupted nonstop. Okay, J. Crew. This is one of their newer tags. I've actually sold the same sweater before. Um, 
Just a very nautical striped kind of turtleneck sweater. This one I picked up for style. It's just H&M, but I mean, it's got birds on it, right? So it's cute, could be career, wear it under a blazer, whatever. I don't expect to get much from um, some of these pieces, but you know, in my book, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. And um, if I can get them listed and make some money, I'm all about that. Um, this is J. Crew. Check out how pretty this embroidery is. I know it's super summery and you know, but maybe you live in California and you need this or you're going to Hawaii or something. Anyways, white linen tank, embroidered yoke, super cute. Um, here's another one of those anthropology tops. Sorry, I've got my pile down here. I gotta reach down and grab things. Um, this is Postmark. I always wanna call it Poshmark. <laughs> it's not Poshmark, it's Postmark. So this is an anthropology label. It's just a cute little boxy geographic print top. Um, Here's another anthropology one. This one looks pretty dated, but I mean, it was at the bin, so I still picked it up. It's called, um, let's see if I can show you. It's called Rick Rack. And if you don't know, this type of ribbon is called Rick Rack. And so on all of those shirts, like the label's really hard to see, but it will always have one of these little um, strings. So this is just a cute, like floral embroidered, um, top. I picked up this Chico's, um, it's Zenergy by Chico's vest. It's just a nice, you know, kind of sporty vest. It's got some, um, elastic on the back and a mesh panel all the way down. It's kind of a longer, like, tunic vest. All right, let's see here. Um, I want to get to some of the fun sweaters. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, I got this Filson hat. I love finding Filson stuff. I found a couple, not like baseball caps, but a couple of their other hats before, and they sell super fast. And actually, I don't know why, but a lot of hats sell super fast for me, like Nike, um, just like running hats, or... Um, whatever baseball caps so pretty good if they're in good condition this one has like a leather um, back and Filson is made in Seattle their headquarters is in Seattle so anyways that was cool um I didn't pick up a lot of shoes yesterday they did have a lot of shoes out however the last time I went to the bins it was all shoes and bags and so I really stocked up on shoes and bags and um, I do like listing those, but I don't like storing them. They take up so much room. So um, I only got one pair of boots. I knew right away that this was Ms. Moo's. Love this brand. Um, this is kind of one of their signature looks. Their um, button down boots. They have the inside zip. Um, there's some wear on the toe, but I'm gonna use some of my magic leather stuff and see if I can clean them up. So they're kind of like a little wedge boot. Super cute, perfect season. Um, so the other kind of accessory I found was this bag. It's a leather crossbody bag. The brand, I don't know if it's just IKKS. Um, let's see, it says it in here too. Um, IKKS, super nice. The comps on this are pretty good. They're nice leather um, goods. The thing with this purse is there's something going on with the strap here. So I'm gonna see if I can find some like a similar item and then see what it's supposed to look like because I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to look like that. But um, I may just keep this for myself, but it's a nice like smaller leather crossbody bag. Um, okay. So in that one bin where I found a bunch of um, anthropology stuff, they had a bunch of sweaters. So some of the ones I picked up are this one. It's like a <clears throat> kind of heathered, marled, open front cardigan. The brand is um, Rosie Nira. I'll put that up so you can see it. Um, 
it just says the same thing over and over again in the swirl. It does have the RN number that is anthropology, so um, I'm sure most of you have heard this. You can find in the inside tag, um, the RN number is 66170. And um, so got that nice sweater. I got this one. This is Angel of the North, another anthropology sweater. Um, this is a nice kind of linen blend, just open front cardigan. And this is also Angel of the North. So I'm thinking this is probably their newer tag. Um, oh, it's going to be hard for me to sell this. I love this. It's pink. It's super soft and cozy. Just open front cardigan sweater. So good. So that is that. Um, there's definitely more. I'm doing some laundry because I like to wash just about everything when I bring it home from the bins. Um, and I'm just going to kind of end this video, but I hope you liked it. I am on Posh Poshmark and eBay. eBay is V Harper Goods. Poshmark, I am at Vanessa J. Harper. Um, if you're interested in any of, the, any of these items, let me know. I'm always willing to um, make a deal. And I hope that you come back. I'm going to do a uh, part two with the other things I got from the bins. And um, I'm just going to see if I can keep going with this scary YouTube. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.